A discovery in South Korea has dramatically captured the imagination of researchers across the globe. For the first time in history, a crocodile has been confirmed to have existed in the remote past that walked upright on two legs. You heard us correctly, guys. Wait till you hear this. The dramatic find reminds us of the Egyptian god Sobek, the crocodile god who created the world and arose from the dark water to form the order of the universe, according to the pyramid text. This deity was unpredictable and allied himself at times with forces of chaos to keep the balance of all things justified. God of the Nile who brought fertility to the waters, the god is known as the Lord of the Waters. A crocodile who walked upright on two feet and this discovery in South Korea reminds us directly of him. The research appears in the journal Nature and titled Trackway Evidence for the Large Bipedal Crocodilmorphus from the Cretaceous of Korea and it describes an ancient creature that is related to crocodiles that walked upright similar to a T-Rex with small hands and a hunched over stance. However, this is completely hypothetical, but what they have found to arrive at these conclusions is not and we are going to tell you why. Described by one researcher as one of the most important clues ever found in the evolutionary record, the fossilized footprints of a creature that is related to crocodiles. Nine feet tall and that it must have walked upright has been discovered and paleontologists brought in to investigate the discovery have confirmed the find. Underneath the topsoil, the bedrock yielded large, pristine footprints over 100 million years old. A professor of paleontology at the University of Education in South Korea took samples back to his laboratory and initially, he thought the tracks were made by a pterosaur, one of the large winged reptiles that ruled the skies during the age of dinosaurs. This was of course until he was paid a visit by Martin Lockley of the University of Colorado in Denver who questioned the professor's surmise. Together they concluded that the tracks belonged to an undiscovered species, a large prehistoric ancestor of modern crocodiles that moved about on only two feet, blowing the floodgates wide open to the understanding of the past and why we see descriptions of crocodiles as gods in ancient regions of Egypt, for example. When asked about the find, the professor who made the initial discovery says, I was very surprised and did not believe my friend Martin at first, but he was right. The tracks prove they were bipedal. We cannot believe what we have discovered here. The importance of this find will reverberate across the world for many years to come. Today's semi-aquatic crocodiles are decidedly quadrupedal, low to the ground, durable, fearsome and fast, but this very strong evidence showed that this prehistoric creature got around on two feet, while the tracks for the back feet were clearly defined from heel to toe and found in regular formation. No tracks for the front limbs were discovered and that overwhelmingly suggests that this creature was bipedalism, much like human beings who walk about on two feet, so did this ancient croc. Dr. Lockley and Professor Kim estimate that the type of ancient crocodilomorph that made the tracks were roughly nine feet long from snout to tail, with their heads likely raised a few feet up from the ground, able to see prey and predators from a distance. They lived and hunted alongside dinosaurs, and based on the low frequency of fossilized track evidence, they were not a dominant species of this era either. Further adding to the weight of bewilderment in the understanding process, but opening up the floodgates to attempt to properly understand the process of time and what past earthlings may have looked like and indeed what intelligence they may have obtained and these key snippets of lost history are vital pieces of the bigger picture. Remarking on the discovery, Mark Norell of New York's iconic Natural History Museum says, for that time period in that part of the world and the size of the animal is definitely a new species. The species itself has no name yet, maybe name it Sobit for the Egyptian deity. 
Strangely, there are no fossil bones that have been found yet to confirm its existence. However, the researchers named the tracks by Trachopus grandis, and unlike today's crocodile tracks, which are made from animals with feet splayed more to the outside, the trackway of this ancient biped is narrow and well-defined, and Dr. Lockley joked that if you put down a chalk line, these things would pass the sobriety test. Some could argue that the reason there are no footprints is that the animal may have been wading through a body of water, but Dr. Lockley again countered that tracks left by a partially submerged animal would only have shown the front claws of their feet as they pushed themselves along, not the heels. These imprints clearly show the full foot, and Professor Kim said that in some of the cases, the impressions of skin are seen too. When first presented with the tracks, Dr. Lockley noticed they were the same shape as tracks made by other crocodile morph, which was the size of a house cat over 100 million years before, but a quadruped made those tracks. All we've done is find exactly the same type of track 100 million years later with two differences. One, the tracks are huge, and try as we might, we can find no evidence for the front footprints. The tracks are proof they were bipedal creatures, meaning they walked on two feet. Well, there you have it, guys. Another mind-boggling discovery that scours the pits of history to reveal to us humans that the past is always going to be more dramatic than we could imagine. A past that is documented in religious texts that are overlooked as mythology. Perhaps the depictions of crocodiles walking upright aren't as far-fetched as they would have us believe, and this discovery certainly confirms that. But what do you, the subscribers of the Lost History Channel, think about this anyway? Comments below, and as always, thank you for watching.